Testing one, two, check how that sounds. Check one, two, are we going to leave the mic on the zoom? Testing one, two, check. far back as we can remember and as many as we can remember today and always we think of those who have left us many of our people your loved ones that have left us we remember them today and always we lost many of our people in a lot of ways due to trauma disease illnesses alcoholism, addiction, and then there were those who left us because they thought that life wasn't worth living anymore for whatever reason. We honor them today for their sacrifice and their hardship. Today, we also remember those who died right here at Taos Pueblo trying to defend our homeland. For those visitors who are here today, you can see the ruins just right back here of our church. And from World War I to World War II, Southeast Asia, I'm talking about Vietnam, to Southwest Asia, all the Middle Eastern countries, and those other small countries where we were involved in and a possibility that we, we will be involved in. <clears throat> a lot of us, a lot of our men never came home from the war. But there were those who came back, and it seems like I have heard in the past, they brought the, home, the war home with them. Many of them that was mentioned earlier called PTSD, didn't know what to do, didn't know where to go. So a lot of them took it upon themselves to kill their emotional pain. And therefore, this is how we lost a lot of our, our men way too soon than they were supposed to. Being a, the head of a, an infantry platoon and being an Indian, and having an Indian squad leader in my platoon, we always got the point, point platoon position. Go find us this, uh, head us out here. So um, at that time we were dropped off uh, at a mountaintop to rescue some uh, Marine Recon unit. And we had to jump out of the chopper because they wouldn't land. And we ended up getting out to this place and getting them back. And finally they said, okay, now lead the company out through this jungle to the other side of the mountain. So Wayne and I were looking for a trail to get us out of there. And unfortunately, he stepped on a mine. So we had to 
better back. And, and the reason I'm telling this story is because uh, Wayne actually saved my life that day because uh, because we were having to medevac Wayne right out of the out of the uh, jungle. The company commander said, "We're going to keep moving, and you guys stay here and catch up later." So they left us there, and that was okay because we were waiting to get Wayne medevac. And about an hour later, I heard him shooting down the trail. They got ambushed uh, because they didn't have us in front of them, and they lost five Marines that morning. So uh, I, I thank Wayne for, uh, unfortunately, uh, hurting himself, but saving our whole platoon that day. Thank you.